And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. It's Keith once again. And just a day after HP listed the first Raven Ridge APU-based laptop, the performance data of the Ryzen 7 2700U and Ryzen 5 2500U have leaked out. The performance data was posted over at the 3 Mark database, giving us a first look at what kind of horsepower the chip packs under the hood. Now, so far there are two processors under the Raven Ridge family which have been leaked. So the first one again is the Ryzen 7 2700U and the second is the Ryzen 5 2500U. Based on the U branding, both of these chips have an ultra low power design and they are based on the Zen core architecture featuring AMD Radeon Vega mobile graphics on the same die. Now while we don't know much about the Ryzen 7 2700U in terms of specification, it is, in, it is mentioned in the database that the chip clocks in at 2.2 GHz. The turbo range could be hitting somewhere between 3.8 and 4 GHz as that depends on the device itself as far as the U series chips are concerned. The other chip, the Ryzen 5 2500U, is well known in terms of raw specs. It comes with 4 cores and 8 threads, supporting clock speeds of 2 GHz base and a 3.6 GHz burst. The burst frequency is just another name for boost on AMD mobility processors. Then the processor has 6 megs of cache on board. And since this is an APU, we will be getting integrated GPU in the same package. And this time, AMD is offering Radeon Vega M graphics that replaces the GCN found in older APUs. And considering both chips have a 4-core, 8-thread design, we can compare these with Intel's KB Lake Refresh processors, which did release this past August. Now that's the mobility refresh, not just the full desktop line. So coming straight to the benchmarks, we see that both chips were tested in a 3D Mark 11 and the Ryzen 7 2700U scored 4212 points with 4072 graphics and a 4619 physics score. The Ryzen 5 2500U scored 3884 points with 3774 graphics and a 6595 physics points. Now PC Per did go ahead and compare these results with an Intel Core i7-8550U, which is their new eight core or their new four core eight thread part under the same ultra low power design. If you'd like to see those charts, just hit the link in the description. We've got those posted over there as well as links to their full article. When compared, the Intel chip scores 8278 points in the physics test, which is a bit ahead of the 6419 points in the Ryzen 7 2700U. The Intel configuration also includes NVIDIA GeForce MX150 GPU, which is the equivalent to the GeForce GT1030 on the desktop. This helped push the graphics score to 4570, which really isn't that big of a leap over what the AMD Vega-based iGPU scores, which is 40. 72, so about 500 point increase. Now with that out of the way, we do know that the mobile APUs are planned for launch later this year at this point, and we've also got the details straight from Noctua, and the desktop models will be arriving on the AM4 platform next year, which we already speculated at this point, but it's good to see that there are some definitive answers. And we've got that quote on screen if you want to see that from their Chromax release. So if you found this video entertaining or informative whatsoever, feel free to like and subscribe. If you have anything to add to the conversation, feel free to do so in the comment section. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.